I am Rose Miller. I train at Gracie South Bay with Leticia Hibiero, and I'm a blue belt. Oh man, I feel like there's so many reasons. Um, it really makes you realize how capable you are. Um, I know at a lot of schools there aren't as many women as there are here. I'm really fortunate to be able to train around a lot of really strong, powerful, and empowered women. Um, and so it creates a special bond between your training partners, but even if you're the only female in your academy or one of a few, um, you develop that bond with whoever you're with because you are put in vulnerable positions and you realize how capable you are in those positions. Um, yeah, and it really just uh, makes you resilient and tough. How can we help with the growth of women's jiu-jitsu? The growth of women's jiu-jitsu? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, equal pay. So whatever criteria you have for men when you're paying men in their tournament, you offer the same to women. If you offer a specific type of tournament for men, you offer the same type for women as well. Just equal exposure, equal opportunity. Oh man, um, because it's unlike anything else. Stepping on the mat, especially if you've never done it before, stepping on the mat, um, against someone else who has trained just like you uh, to really put yourself out there and see what you're capable of against someone from another team who has their own you know, best move um, and to try your best moves against them and see how it goes. You know, there is um, so much that goes into training for a tournament that no matter what happens at the end, you're going to get something out of it. You're going to learn if you win, you're going to learn if you lose, um, but most of all, you're going to just grow as a person. And I think it encourages you even more to train and to take opportunities in other areas of your life off the mat too. What message or advice do you have for women when it comes to competing, even if they've never competed before? Oh man, um, do it, enjoy it. Um, don't stress so much about the outcome, stress about being able to apply what you've practiced. Um, the awareness that you get in competition um, under pressure, like having to be aware under pressure, being able to apply techniques under pressure, it's totally different than training um, in the gym. And I think that kind of mental fortitude uh, is helpful in so many other areas of your life. Why do you think women should speak a handful of times to the jujitsu journey? Oh, because it just keeps getting better. You, uh, it, the experience just deepens um, every time. You know, you really see who you are as a person when you compete, uh, how, you, how you respond to pressure, and that's something that I really love about it. Um, seeing what I'm capable of, seeing my progress from competition to competition, how I've improved, um, and where I can still work. So that's a tricky question because that's really up to you, right? Like you could lose a tournament and you could let it uh, beat you down and you could obsess over that loss or you could um, win and let it get to your head, right? And maybe either extreme isn't the best place to be, but if you can take your wins and losses uh, as steps to becoming who you want to be um, and developing whatever characteristics you want to see in yourself and just taking it as information of where you can still work, um, then I think that's really where like the growth comes from and the power from competing comes. Thank you. Thank you.